Stephen A. Smith. Who wins tonight? <sighs> Well, obviously, I'm going with the San Antonio Spurs because I'm not going to switch my pick. I picked them to win this series in seven games. It's a game seven, and I'm going to roll with that. Now, I will acknowledge that uh, the resolute, you know, feelings that I had prior to game six, uh, I, I, it's a bit shaky now. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit apprehensive. Uh, I look at LeBron James and Miami Heat and the ability to pull out game six. Uh, that didn't phase me because I predicted Miami would win game six. It's how they won that has me concerned because Tim Duncan played more minutes than he's played since 2008. You look at Tony Parker. He put in nearly 43 minutes. Didn't commit one single turnover. Duncan had 30 points, 17 rebounds. Uh, and, and, and Kawhi Leonard, a 21-year-old kid who I believe is going to be a phenom. I mean, the kid is special. 22 points and 11 rebounds. You look at the things that transpired. Mm -hmm. You have a 13-point lead. You have a 10-point lead going into the, into the fourth quarter. And to lose that game, it just it, 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 it shook me. It no, there's no question. But then I slept on it and I thought about it long and hard and I said, if there is a team <laughs> mm -hmm. that has the ability to overcome yeah. such a collapse, it's the San Antonio Spurs. It's a bit dicey, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I look at Tim Duncan, I see the end of the road. I look at Manu Ginobili, I see the end of the road. I look at Greg Popovich as one of the all-time greats who made a few errors in my estimation in game six. And I said, if anybody can make up for it, it is him. And I look at a guy like a Danny Green, who I, I'm a fan of. Just three points, one three-pointer, really non-existent in game six. I can't imagine that's going to happen two games in a row. I'm just looking at the San Antonio Spurs, and I'm saying to myself, Miami should win this game. But I'm not, no matter what I saw, it's not enough for me to jump ship. I'm going to go with the Spurs in game seven tonight. Very confidently as well. Close. Huh? Close game. Oh, no, no, there will be no blowout. This will not be, it won't be a replica of, it, the only way that will happen, this is my own, this is my biggest concern for the San Antonio Spurs, fatigue. That, that, that's what, I'm not worried about them mentally. I'm not worried about them spiritually. I'm worried about them physically. You just came off of this grueling game six. And less than 48 hours later, you have another game. That's my concern. It's of a physical nature. I'm not worried about their ability to mentally get beyond the game six loss. I think if there was a team that's tailor-made for that kind of adversity, it's them. But physically, having a game, I would be, I will say this to you, I would be far more confident if the San Antonio Spurs had an extra day's rest, if this were a Sunday night that game six had happened and then you don't have a game until Wednesday or Thursday, oh, I'd be far more confident. It's the fact that it's less than 48 hours that has me saying Miami could take this game, but it's not enough for me to sway my pick. I'm going to roll with San Antonio. But I'm not hearing supreme conviction oh, there's no, from my uh, friend across the you're desk You're not here. hearing that because okay? I couldn't give you I'm not you that. hearing resolution. You're, you're right. Right? You're absolutely okay, right. Okay, so I want to be clear. I'm going to hold your feet to the fire as we go to what could be one of the all-time great games in the history of this league. You are picking the Spurs to win game seven. That is correct. I do not want to hear tomorrow if the Heat win. No, 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 no. I told you so. About, I told you the Spurs are out of gas. With all due respect. That would happen to be your M.O., not mine. No, it is not I don't my do M.O. That. I don't I, do that. I am resolute. You are, I have the courage I, 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 I of my mean, convictions. I, 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 mean, I mean, you give new course. meaning to waffling. You, you please. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You and your duplicitous self over there. I think you've set yourself up in wow. the can't, can't lose situation. Not at all. There is no can't lose situation. I don't know. I made a prediction before this series yeah, began. Yeah, you shocked me. And you if you the picked my pick. And if the prediction is false, then it's false. Period. Okay. Even if I stood here today and, and said to you that Miami's going to win game seven, I would still be wrong because when the series started, I picked the Spurs. Okay. There's no way around so, it. The only you, way I'm you, right is if the Spurs cannot. win tonight. I, I, I did. I saw a retweet of your tweet late in game six, which said, I, I wrote it down, if San Antonio loses this game, I don't know how they win game seven. I so, so you were wavering. No. Speaking of waffling. I still, I still don't. I'm just telling you I'm not changing my pick. Okay, so you don't have a how, you just have the, a, a will, That's right? right? Okay. That's right. All right. For me, I picked the Spurs in seven games the moment they finished off the Memphis Grizzlies in their sweep. I tweeted it immediately, Spurs in seven. And I have resolution. I have conviction. 
I remain completely confident in my pick that the Spurs tonight will play a similar game to game six. The score will stay on the same path that it took in game six, except this time my Spurs will make the championship plays down the stretch that will win them their fifth ring. They won game one, three, five, seven.